We begin with breaking news here at 4, a violent rampage in Long Beach. One person stabbed, four others beaten, including a toddler. Police say one man was responsible for it all. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Juan Fernandez. Witnesses say it all started in the playground area at Livingston Park. And it ended when Long Beach police shot the man with a knife. Police shot the suspect shortly before noon today near 2nd Street and Quincy Avenue in Long Beach's Belmont Shore neighborhood. KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely live near the scene with details for us. Michelle. That's right, Juan and Susie. We do have clarification now. Long Beach uh, police just came and spoke with reporters within the last 30 minutes or so ago, and they say that the weapon that the suspect was armed with was, in fact, a screwdriver. They say that he's 31 years old and he is in surgery right now. They do confirm that Long Beach police shot him once in the upper body. They also say that he did assault three men, one woman, and a two year old little boy right in the area behind me here of Livingston Park. SOI, y'all help, help, help. A Belmont Shore mother and grandfather are taken in by Long Beach police for questioning after the woman says her two-year-old son was one of the victims assaulted by a man with a screwdriver near Livingston Park Tuesday afternoon. And after he grabbed him, he fell on the ground. And then the guy just came to him to stab him. And then my child, um, Happened too fast, and then like he's on the other side screaming, crying. Neighbors heard screaming shortly before noon. Charlene Meldrum lives across the street from the park. She saw a second victim getting medical treatment at Supermex restaurant a few blocks away. The police came and said that there's four scenes, there were stabbings, and I'm like, oh my god. And so we were just kind of putting all the pieces together because my neighbor, I then saw him, said he saw everything. From his deck here, and then called 911, and he saw that he saw someone being punched. Another witness took this video from the Wells Fargo Bank on East Second Street, where she says two victims ran for help. Not long after the suspect was recorded walking by the front door with a screwdriver in his hand, the police were coming up behind him. Within five to six minutes of the initial dispatch, officers arrive on scene and confront the subject and um, he refuses to uh, obey their lawful orders while still being armed with a weapon, which we later determined to be a screwdriver. Uh, he walks into a local residential area, uh, attempts to get in to a uh, resident or residential property, uh, at which point that officer-involved shooting occurs. Now, the motive, according to the commander, is unclear at this time why this man acted with such violence. But neighbors say they do recognize him, that in fact he was sleeping in the area last night. I spoke to a man who said that he saw him underneath the steps of his home. He says that he went up to this man, he told him to leave. He said it took him about 45 minutes to gather up his belongings, and he finally did get out of here. We should also tell you that of all the people who were injured by this man today, they are all expected to be okay. That's the latest live in Belmont Shore. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. It's good to know, Michelle. Thank you.